Hello, welcome to Rexham Mineral Cables. Today I'm going to be doing a termination of 4015 using a standard RPS seal kit. Our first step is to measure our shroud against the cable and cut the tip of the shroud. We'll cut it using a Stanley blade and then place it over the cable and pop it out of the way. Our next step is to remove the optional orange outer LSF sheath from the copper sheath. Mineral cable is known to draw moisture. However, the amount of ingress will only ever reach around two inches. By following our termination procedure and removing six inches of copper sheath, you eliminate all potential moisture issues, providing, of course, you complete the termination within a reasonable time frame. Strip that back away from you, making sure you don't nick any of the copper cable. Pull it away from you, and again, cutting away from you, just nip the outer sheath and pull it off. Next, we'll round the end of the cable using the pliers so it can go into the rotary stripper. And then we'll apply a little bit of grease or Vaseline onto the copper just to help us aid in the stripping process. And we'll grab our pliers, put the stripper onto the end of the cable and tighten it up so that the blade is just showing above the copper cable. So then we'll put the pliers close to the rotary stripper and start it by pushing quite firmly into the middle of the cable until it's started. And then you can use your pliers just to take off the end, flick it up, and then it will go under a little metal bit. like so, and then just strip all the way. So once you've got all the way to the end, just slacken your rotary stripper off, take that off, make sure that you've got a nice clean end ready for your gland and your pot to go on. Our next step is to put the gland over the top and put it all the way down and then just leave that there out of the way. Then we'll get our pot, our RPS pot, pop it over the top and start it by hand until you feel it just grab. Then we'll take our pliers and our pot wrench and then push in whilst you're tightening in, just tighten it all the way until you have about one millimetre of sheath showing inside of your pot. and just double check the end and you'll see inside one millimetre showing inside the pot. So then we'll tap any of the magnesium out of the pot and double checking that there's no brass left in there from any of the thread. A nice clean end should look like this. So our next step now is to spread the conductors out, making sure that none of them are touching. Then we'll apply the compound from one side only making sure we push it all the way down into the base of the pot until it starts coming out of the other side so we know that there's no air locked inside of the pot. Like so. Then we'll straighten our conductors back out. Get rid of any of the excess compound and put our stub cap over our conductors. Pushing that all the way down to the top of the pot. Again, get rid of any excess compound. Push it in so it's flush. Then we'll get our hand crimp, push the conductors through the middle, lock it into place and tighten it up by hand. It only needs to be hand tight. And then just run your fingers around the edge, making sure that it's been crimped. You should see three little crimps on each side. 
when the pot is crimped correctly, it will look something like this.